What's going on guys? Josh here from Polymathics, the YouTube channel that helps you become a modern day renaissance man. And today we're doing our word of the day and the term I chose is myopic. And you can find the correct spelling down below in the description along with the official definition. But in layman's terms, myopic means to be short-sighted. Now this isn't something that you would use on the street when you're talking to your friends in casual conversation, nor would it be something that you would want to give in a speech or a briefing to children or even teenagers. But if you're talking to an educated audience then or briefing them, then myopic is a good word to use. The other thing is myopic the, you have to understand the situation as well. You don't want to say, let me give you an example. If you were to say going to the pizza joint was a myopic idea, that doesn't make any sense. It's a small plan for a group of people to go out to pizza place. It just doesn't make sense. Myopic is more when you're talking about a scheme that's kind of more grand in scope. So, for example, the general's strategy to flank from the side was myopic. That is more appropriate because you're talking about something large in scope, and normally this would be used in some sort of briefing. But there are a few other times that you could use this in writing that would also make sense. And this is for all my writers out there. Of course, you can use it in any kind of academic writing to kind of spice up your terminology and the audiences normally are educated enough to understand what it means. But the second thing is if you have a character who is very logical or highly educated, think data from, uh, from Star Trek The Next Generation or Spock, someone from that kind of background or with that kind of character would use this term more often than not and so if you want in order in terms of dialogue for characterization that's a perfect use of the term so I hope this has been helpful and if you like it please give me a like and if you'd like to hear more words of the day or information like this on becoming a modern-day Renaissance man then please subscribe to my channel and you'll get all kinds of great information sent to you as I make them. Until next time, take it easy.